All right, so we're checking out the only game with wavy inflatable arm guys looming around the background. It's the coin game. Also, what the hell is that? Is that is that a robot wearing a horny helmet with like a bunch of children's audio programmed into it? Yep, that's exactly what that is. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like when the developer took the, the title for the game, he cut it out in Photoshop, but like he did it the kind where you just pick the background color and it leaves a lot of the little clippings in. So the coin, Jesus Christ. It's these freaking robot kids. The coin game is a game where you live inside of an island where there's an arcade and Skynet is attempting to take over the world with child programmed drug abusing robots. Oh my God, they're worse than real children. Also, it's the only game where all the avatars are on the keto diet. What is this figure? And why does this say not a restroom? This seems like one of those games that's gonna be really weird. Supposedly it's a game about gaming, but I don't, it's like a survival open world game as well. I don't know. Also, let me mention something. In the options area, <laughs> instead of like low, medium, high, it's potato, old laptop, mom's desktop, old gaming red, rocket appliance, super computer, and super V-Sync. Screw you V-Sync, no one loves you. So we get to pick from this guy and this girl wearing like booty shorts with the word coin on the back instead of like pink or whatever. Jesus. Oh my God. I don't You know what? We'll pick what we're going to pick booty coin girl. Survival mode. Work odd jobs or scavenge for money. Pawn your prizes to keep going. Eat junk food to stay healthy. What happens if you stop going? Do you just like, do you like beat yourself to death with a ski ball or something? How many days can you last? Oh, we can't play this. We'll play the birthday version. Welcome everyone to Larry's Arcade, which is probably not real. This is probably a front for the mafia or something. I don't know. We don't have any real arcades around me anymore. Oh, this is cool. We have have a, a smartwatch that's basically just a tablet strapped to our wrist. I'm sorry, what does this say? Instant teleport player buttons, but there's a UFO? What the hell? Oh, <laughs> it actually has like a little barrier around it. Like you're not supposed to go back here. Oh, you have a body in this game. When you look down though, 15% of your view is your own breasts. I want to see if I can jump that fence. But for right now, welcome to the warehouse. Where is that a friggin' robot wearing a beer koozie helmet driving a pallet thing around? A forklift? What is this game? What the hell? I just used the mouse wheel. What the hell is this? What the What is is this a rubber band gun? Why would you have a rubber band gun in this game? Oh, we have a flashlight too. Oh, you always know things are gonna work out just great when half of the asset is sitting beneath the concrete. Can we use this? Absolutely can. Oh my God, we have a friggin' golf cart. Never mind, it doesn't work because half of it is underneath the ground. This is, this is the creepiest birthday scene I've ever had. Can you touch these things? We got little hands over here. I don't know what the hell it does. Yes, go, go on, little children. It's always good to have friends that are robotic. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, you can piss the children off when you shoot them. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell is this? Oh my god. The level of cocaine has gone way up. Is that a teddy bear with a beer koozie hat on? I don't even know what's happening anymore. There's a shark playing on the electric piano over here. That's a Bob Marley banana or whatever playing the saxophone. I guess he should be singing. There's a piggy bank back here. Don't worry, I've got my backstage passes. I guess these don't count as like real assets because I'm inside of the shark right now. Oh, you can pick stuff up like this Mountain Dew can. So can I grab my own drink? Yep. Right click to drink. Fantastic. Cheesy Poofs Tortilla Crisps won't make you fat. We'll see about that. Oh, you can shoot the balloons. Hell yes. Oh damn, these are like legitimate games that have been made into their three dimensional. Oh my God, are those, are those friggin' meth creatures playing again? They sure are. It's like three dimensional games. It looks like you can win stacks of friggin' cash. Hey, 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 hey. Happy friggin' new, what happened to my glasses? Didn't our girl originally had like some giant ass glasses on? What do you do with your brick of money once you win? Well. It didn't take long. I went out of a back door and I got freaking backdoored. <laughs> hey, got the golf cart working though. Little crash never hurt anyone. Magic salt lamp. What does that say? All of your wildest dreams 
will come true if you own this. What is that behind the salt lamp? Is that its power source? I'm pretty sure that's a plug. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go with that. I don't think it's like some sort of alien technology or anything. I'm always scared to get into collisions in games like these because I don't know if I'll get ejaculated into the atmosphere. What the hell? Did I momentarily just become part of that car? I don't feel any different. Look at this hill right here. It looks like this was put in specifically to be a ramp. Maybe that's our way to get into the uh, this UFO place that no one's supposed to go into. Hold on, I'm gonna try and ramp this thing with the golf cart. It also assumes I don't put this thing in the friggin' water. Here we go, baby! Get up there! Ow. Well, shh, hey. Okay, I don't know. What sort of pulsating hell just happened to cross the way over there? But that was not natural. On the plus side, um, that crash put our golf cart in a perfect position for me to try and get over this and into the and into the UFO area. Here we go. Oh, invisible wall, my ass. There's two things that are broken right now. The first thing is my left wrist. The second thing is the freaking golf cart. Why? Because once again, it has sunken beneath the ground. So, I was hoping to shoot these boxes that are over here. But the only thing that happens is my rubber bands get caught inside of the fencing and writhe around like worms. Maybe we can carjack someone with a rubber band gun. Because I need a ride back to the arcade. Okay, not much for pedestrian safety. Are there robots driving the frigging cars as well? TV One News. What the hell is this? Where are all the people? I'm starting to wonder if this is a if this is a game within a game or if it's supposed to be a freaking horror or something. <laughs> you know things are getting pretty scary when the tech slides right off of the hood of the car. What the hell was that? Did I just for a second there it looked like I swung my flashlight like a billy club. Okay, yeah, I'm you can definitely beat stuff with the with the flashlight. Why is this an animation in this game? Uh Abandoned house in the middle of nowhere seems legit, I guess. Is this supposed to be my mom's house, or there's no, <laughs> there's no front door. <laughs> the way the house is made, it's just a bunch of windows on a foundation. Oh, hey, I found Jerry's Gas and Go over at the corner of Side Road and Main Street. I'm starting to get a little worried. Where is Jerry? Because I'm inside of his place, and either he's dead or he does he hasn't been programmed into the game yet. Oh damn, you could buy scratch-off tickets. Okay. Uh how's it work? <laughs> you win and you just throw the garbage on the ground. God, these freaking scratch-offs are just like real life. You get addicted to it, you keep thinking that you're gonna win your money back, and you never friggin' do. Here, watch. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I should have known. I lost every dollar I friggin' had. Although I think... Did I did I sprout a third arm to throw that on the ground? I think there's a way for us to get our money back at the, the arcade. I'm kind of scared to go there after seeing the robot children, but whatever. God damn it, Jerry. Supposedly, one of the things that you could do is ride the bus around the island. So right now, I'm dangling my ticket in the air. I don't even know if I need this thing or not. I don't know if this game is a broken wreck or a piece of genius. Where the hell? Okay, for a second there, I thought my, I thought my thing went for... Can I use this or... No, 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 you son of a bitch! So, um, I put my, I put my game pass in the bus and it drove away and my game pass is gone. Oh, thank you, Jesus, it teleports back. Oh, this is our home. We have a real home. I didn't know that. I'm assuming this is where you put all your little achievement placards that you get in the game and also cry yourself to sleep at night. This garage go down? Huh, is there anything inside of the house or... Do... <laughs> nope. I think I can safely say that there's absolutely nothing inside the house. Apparently there's a public beach as well. You have to understand that there's certain rules for utilizing it. The most important one is no being stupid. It would be fantastic if people could actually put that on warning signs. How's a bonfire going on? Is there a couple of drunk robots going on down here? What happens when Skynet gets drunk? Is that when human beings start getting skinned alive? Everyone just left their fire here. That's kind of unsafe. Fresh charbroiled can. What is this, a pack of beef jerky? Hot fire. Oh, it's a scratch-off ticket. God, these fires are everywhere. It's like, it's like Gondor trying to signal someone. Something I'm curious about is it look like we could pick up these creatures because there's a hand symbol on it? <laughs> you can. All right, how's the money machine work? 
I feel like we're getting low on cash. It's time to get some more. What do you do? Just stand inside and yep. Okay, I want one of these in real life. This would make everything so much easier. I just found how to win forever. <laughs> That's right, children. Be impressed with me. All you have to do is hold down on the use button and you actually can't lose. I can have as many Beats by Dre headsets as I want now. Don't want no minor ass prize, you gotta be kidding me. I want all the headsets at this point. Yes. There you go. All right, I'm just shoving my balls inside of this hole over here. I wanna get this mega jackpot because it's like 4,800 friggin' tickets. I don't even know what I would do with all the tickets. Oh, hell yes. That's what I'm talking about. Now I can finally get like one single glow stick or something because that's how ticket games work. You put about $600 in and you get an item worth like four bucks. What the hell's mystery bonus mode? Okay. Oh, can I get the jackpot again? It's not worth as much anymore. I mean, hell yes, I guess, but I feel like having sparks and fire inside of this machine would be some sort of weird hazard. No, I'll just take my, I'll just take my coupons and leave. Is that a lighter? And a fidget spinner? Okay. I want the fidget spinner, but it's almost impossible to get. I'm getting all these doubloons or whatever though. <laughs> like vomiting out a giant stream of tickets. Holy Jesus. Technically, we could get an infinite number of tickets because we can't lose it this game. My biggest issue is I don't know how to get the tickets out of the freaking box. I've managed to completely destroy gravity in the game and now the box is just floating in the air though. <gasps> yes! Sweet baby Jesus, my life is complete. What is that, like 4,000 freaking tickets or something? Do we win? Ooh. What the Christ? I got the jackpot, right? Like that counted, right? This is like the best dollar I ever spent. This one dollar I've played like 35 times for because I keep getting these freaking bonus balls. Get in the hole. No, not that hole, not that hole. No, you son of a- Oh my God, another bonus ball, make it stop. What the hell? I shot the ball clean out of the freaking machine. Does that count? What the hell, how did I break this? I can't play anymore. I actually can't play anymore because I destroyed the entire machine. The ball doesn't exist inside of the machine anymore and I can't get it to stop. Oh, thank you God, I got it finally off it. For 25,000 tickets, you can get a Rasta banana. Oh, you can get a mega bouncy ball for 5,000? Sure. What is this? Ooh, that's red. This just seems like something I'm going to lose. What the hell? Oh, Jesus. I was gonna say, it just seems like something I'm going to lose. I already lost it. <laughs> I threw it and it's gone. Oh, there it is. It's on the other side of the room. All right, whatever. This is what it's like to get kicked in the balls. This is how I felt when I thought I had won the mega jackpot and then I didn't get the tickets for it. Hey, folks, hope you enjoyed coin game. I really don't know what... Ow. I just got hit in the face with a ball. I really don't know what we accomplished. I'm not really 100% sure what this game's all about, except for robotic children trying to take over the world. <laughs> you can beat the children with the ball. And hey, folks, till next time, stay foxy and much love. Oh, God.